I took one and a half years. I did research for one and a half years. I'm a lawyer by profession, so I'm not a full-time writer. So I became a part-time lawyer and part-time writer. Yes, I was. Uh, so, uh, somebody called me, one of my friends called me and said, why are you shaking your leg in Kuala Lumpur here? The chandis are being broken. I rushed here and I found the whole chandi has been demolished. That is chandi number 11, chandi uh, Sungai Batu estate. Uh, I, the moment I went and saw that the chandi has not only been broken, completely erased, not a stone left. So I thought it is murder. It's first degree murder. In law, you call it premeditated murder. You should be hanged. So this is premeditated. The developer knew there's a chandi. He cannot say there was nothing there. He knows it was a tourist place. After breaking it, he can tell the police, yes, no, there's nothing on the ground. Later, when the police showed them my book, picture in my book, he said, oh, there was some stone we didn't know. Now this area, the Mudar district, the Kuala Mudar district, especially the ones around uh, the Gunung Jarai area, all the Mukims, they are very, very sensitive archaeological areas. So in environment, protecting the environment, when it's a sensitive issue, they want an environment impact assessment study to protect the environment. They should do the same. They should introduce what is known as archaeology uh, impact assessment. And before the town council approves any, any plan for development, whether it be government or private, they must do an archaeology impact study. It's because I did not know what to do, I had to turn to the media for help. And I thank the media, my God. The media made it into such a big history that they've saved the heritage of the of whole of Malaysia. Now all the heritage sites in Malaysia will be protected. I hope so.